Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John. Today, we're gonna be going over a Saber Forge ASP. But not to fear, this is for a good buddy of mine. So I hope you guys wanna see it, cause I'm gonna show it. <laughs> Honestly though, this turned out way better than I thought. It is an absolutely stellar NeoPixel lightsaber now. And uh, I also designed my first chassis ever for this, so uh, it all turned out really great. So without further ado, why don't we just jump right in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, this is a super fun Saber. This is a Saber Forge ASP, so uh, early on. Uh, I don't know if they still do it or not, because I don't really look at Saber Forge that much, but I know that when they were starting out, um, they created like a interface online that you could build sabers uh, out of pieces and then they would send it to you. A good portion of this looks like it was machined together um, and then other areas are locked tight so you really can't get them apart. Um, so this was a fun job to take on. Also, this is the first um, chassis for a lightsaber that I've completely done from scratch, uh, seeing as I've seen so many... <laughs> It obviously is going to resemble some other people's work. Um, this is installed with a two-part chassis. So there is an upper part, which is um, housing the stock NPXL V3. Yep, V3. Two tactile um, AV switches, a stock rotary connector for the male side. Then there's the female side here. You have your Profi V3, 18650, on-off switch, and a 28mm KR Sabres bass speaker. Now, you all know this is my favorite, um, and it is loud as hell because this pommel cap pushes up against the speaker here, which really just isolates the sound. The diaphragm has nowhere to push air except for out. So it's incredibly loud. Um, ear piercingly so you'll definitely hear this in a crowd um, but to turn it on you would just flip the switch up I don't understand um, and there's a few things I should have probably mentioned um, I designed this chassis to be really user-friendly um, maybe this is considered a little dangerous if you have gloves on but you can push the positive side of the battery out from back here and you want to try to avoid pushing on the SD card right here. Obviously, that will snap it. But um, just to make this really easy, um, positive side goes towards the kill switch, negative towards the uh, speaker. And just instead of having to slap it against your finger, you can literally just push it out like that. Um, I'm really big into convenience and usability. And um, so that was something that was really important. Uh, the chassis also, I did my best to hide any wires, so you're really, unless you're looking, you're really not going to find them. Um, what does this mean for me? Turn the saber on. That means you get to use a really sweet saber. Um, the, I 3D printed a little spacer here as I didn't want the, um, the pogo pins to push as hard as they were pushing. So tiny little spacer right there, not really noticeable. You have your power up top and your auxiliary on the bottom. This thumb screw is your blade retention. Let's throw a blade in here. This holds a one inch blade. No surprise there as it's a saber forge. This is the new Barris font from the new Tales, uh, Tales of the Empire series done by Kyberphonic. Jesse, as I've said in every video, is the best. And uh, he, all of his fonts come with an overwhelmingly amount, or an overwhelming amount of um, just wave files. I mean, you have everything you could possibly ever want. <laughs> uh, anyways, so this is for a really great um, cosplayer, uh, Colin. He is known as Odd Viking on Instagram. He's really, uh, he does some amazing work. I absolutely love his um, storage cases. Uh, his cosplays and his photo edits are always a lot of fun. So if you follow Odd Viking already on Instagram, um, you'll be able to see more of this saber in action, I'm sure, as uh, he likes to use this with his Rodian, I think. So really cool. 
And he bought a bunch of fonts from Jesse. Ray Skywalker. So I get to go over quite a few. And peace and then violence. Man after my own heart. He loves the color green. <laughs> and if you wanted to go backwards in fonts, you can actually hold the saber upside down. I need a whip! Ray Scott. Barris? Come with me. And it'll go backwards in fonts as you hit the auxiliary instead of forwards. Um, this also has the K Sith Hugh Yang um, uh, voice pack. Edit mode. Edit style. Edit color. Edit font. Edit track. Edit settings. Copy preset. Exit. <laughs> red. Orange red. Dark orange. Orange. Gold. Yellow. Green yellow. Green. Aquamarine. Cyan. Deep sky blue. So lots of colors, a lot of cool effects. This also plays music. Nice thing is this has a track player now, so you can actually start the track. And before you hit power, if you rotate it, it'll go to the next track. And you select what you want with power. There you go. Super cool. I love Profi so much. Um, it just allows you to do really whatever you want. <clears throat> um, and then when you're all done with the Saber, just pop this out, drop out your chassis, turn it off. And you're good to just, just, you know, let it sit. So there you go. I think that just about covers everything. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get this back in Colin's hands so I can get his opinion on it. So, there we go. Also, it was recently his birthday, so happy birthday, dude. Glad I can get this to you relatively quickly. Anyways, let's wrap the video up here. Alright guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to see more cool installs just like this. There's definitely some really nice ones coming in the near future you're not going to want to miss out on. I've been promising that Master Chassis uh, Balin Skull. Gotta remember to breathe. But uh, <laughs> if you are looking for an installation I offer on my website, sabersforever.com, uh, a ready-to-ship section where there's product that are already done and ready to go out the door. There's a commission-based service where things are made to order. You'll find blasters and uh, some pretty neat master chassis stuff. And then I have a KR Sabres installation service where, you guessed it, anything that KR Sabres offers, I have an install uh, service just for that. So take a look. If you can't find what you're looking for, please reach out to me at john at sabresforever.com and I'd be happy to help answer any questions that you have and uh, make sure that you're all squared away and you know exactly what you're jumping into. So until the next time, guys, may the Force be with you.